If f of x equals 10x minus 4 and g of x equals 3x squared plus 3, find f of g of 2 and g of f of 2. Let's first look at f of g of 2. When we look at something that has a number in the innermost argument, we want to start from the inside and work out. So the innermost part of this is g of 2. So we want to calculate what g of 2 is numerically. So we take 2 and plug it into the g function. So that'll be 3 times 2 squared plus 3, which will give us 15. Since g of 2 equals 15, then f of g of 2 is equal to finding f of 15, which means we would take the 15 and plug it into our f function. By plugging 15 in for f, we get 10 times 15 minus 4, which is 146. So f of g of 2 is 146. Notice that when we do a composite function that has a number in the innermost argument, we get a numerical answer. So let's go ahead and calculate g of f of 2. Again, we want to start with the inside and work out. The innermost argument is f of 2. So first we want to calculate what f of 2 is. So f of 2 will be 10 times 2 minus 4, which will give us 16. Since f of 2 equals 16, we can then look for g of 16. Well, g of 16 is going to be 3 times 16 squared plus 3, which will give us 771. Again, we expect a numerical answer because we had a number in the innermost argument. Again, I'd like to point out that f of g of 2 is not the same as g of f of 2. So be careful that you do things in the right order. Start from the inside and work out.